tell me a little bit about what you're bringing tonight. We're we're gonna do the same dishes, Farah. The same dish. <laughs> so after she explained it, we realized our dish needs to change, and I'm gonna do the same dish as Farah. So just give you two times Farah's dish. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> so the the concept of Kuka is uh, globally inspired, locally sourced. This is what we do. So. If it doesn't grow in Indonesia, or come from Indonesia, we don't cook it in Kuka. One of the products that Indonesia has is squid. Yeah? Or uh, the name that you named it, you call chumi. 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 Yeah, it's chumi chumi. Chumi It's chumi chumi. It's chumi chumi and it's Farah's dish. So uh, what it has is chumi. The, 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 a lot of the chumi that we get in the restaurant does the best quality. It's quite big. It can be quite tough. But the quality is very, very good. So the question is, what can be done with chumi? Because the only thing anybody does with chumi is cut it into circles and deep fry. Yeah? I'm not saying that's not good. I'm saying, why does nobody do anything with squid? So the question we had was, what can be done with squid? So we started with the idea of what can be done and what's different. So we wanted to try to create a risotto without using rice and substituting squid. And by cutting the squid to the size of a grain of rice and poaching it in a velouté sauce, a lightly thickened sauce, what we were able to capture is the texture, the viscosity, and the feeling of a traditional creamy Italian risotto, something like Maurizio would make much better than me, but with no rice whatsoever. So the dish we're going to be presenting tonight is black squid risotto that actually contains no rice whatsoever. And if they don't like that, Thursday. <laughs> 